Oh, g'day, my name is John, and this is another video in a series of videos that I'm doing about these Chinese diesel air heaters. This particular video is a bench test and a review of a heater here sold as an 8 kilowatt unit. But uh, before we go any further, we need to go back to some basics. So, here we have a, um, a Chinese 5 kilowatt unit. Now, what we've got here is a heat exchanger and a fan. So basically, to make get more heat out of this, there's three main ways we can get more heat out of it. One is we can increase the size of the heat exchanger here. Two, we can increase the temperature by pumping in more diesel. And three, we can increase the fan speed here by blowing in more air over the top of the heater. But we eventually come to limitations we can't go much hotter than what the heater is designed for. These little heaters are designed to run at a, probably around a maximum of uh, 110, 115 degrees Celsius. If you go any hotter than that, there's a temperature sensor in here. It'll send a signal to the electronic control unit. It'll shut down the heater if it gets hotter than that. The other limiting factor here is the little fan. We get to the stage where we just can't spin this fan any faster without um, you know, terrible cavitation and a lot of noise. Currently this fan spins at about 4,000, 4,500 RPM. So basically this is a sold as a 5 kilowatt unit. If we want to go bigger we have to, sorry, if we want to get more output we have to go bigger. A little bit like a, uh, a motor car engine. Say you have a 2 litre motor car engine and you want more power out of it, well then you can put a turbo on it, you, know, you can put, probably put a, a racing cam on it, uh, maybe fuel injection, but eventually you get to the, the stage where if you want more power, you have to have a bigger engine. And that's basically the same with these little diesel heaters. Now this heater here is a two kilowatt unit, and basically it's about 300 millimeters um, long. This one here, this is a five kilowatt Chinese heater, and it's 390 to 400 millimeters long. So one would expect that if you had an 8 kilowatt heater, it would be about um, 500 millimetres long. Now, here's the 8 kilowatt heater that, I, that I've bought off eBay, and we'll have a look at this. So, <laughs> what you see is, is it's exactly the same. It's... Uh, around 390, 400 millimetres long. In fact, it is exactly the same as the five kilowatt unit. Now I've previously had this apart. The internals are exactly the same. The burner size is exactly the same. The fan is exactly the same. The, the um, combustion unit is exactly the same. In fact, everything in here is exactly the same as these five kilowatt units. So before I, I bench test it, what I'll do is I'll take the little dosing pump that came with this unit and I'll just check it looks exactly the same as all the other dosing pumps but to make doubly sure I'll just check what the um, the dose is and uh, it may instead of 0.02 milliliters it might put out 0.03 0.04 milliliters which means it's going to inject more diesel in here which is going to make it hotter but then, as I said, we come to the limitations here. You can only make it so hot before the unit will shut down. Now, my initial suspicion is this is a five kilowatt heater. But we'll go through the motions and I'll do the test. So first up, I'll do the dosing test and uh, we'll come back. Okay, I'm back. I've done the dose. I check it with my own um, dosing tester set up. I've got a... Um, a, a little switch here um, that I can pump in particular doses. I've got a counter here that I can count the number in and here it is that's 50 pulses so and it makes one milliliter. So I've checked it in both you know 50, 100, 150 and 200 pulses. So basically this is exactly the same as uh, every other um, Chinese diesel heater and the dosing pump puts out 0 0.02 of a milliliter. And um, as I said, I do it all manually here. 
some people try and do it from the machine itself, but I've found that to be an inaccurate way because you, you don't really know when the machine will start to dose. You don't know how long it's going. You don't know how many pulses it actually puts in, and you don't know how, it's all the air out before you started, whereas here I can um, manually dose using this little switch. Um, my, when all the air's out, then I can, um, you know, do my, do my counter and do the 50 pulses, 100 pulses, 150, 200, and I got, got the um, the marks here. So this is 0 0.02 milliliter, exactly the same as everybody else. Now, this is the particular heater that I I bought on eBay, sold as an 8 kilowatt, um, <coughs> 247. Um, there's another one here, 259, um, 289, these um, 8 kilowatt units. There's quite a few being sold at 8 kilowatt units, but I suspect that it's false advertising. But anyway, I'll go through the motions, I'll do the bench test, and um, I'll set this up. So I'll be back in a few minutes when I've set it up and doing the proper bench test. All right, I'm all set up now on this um, 8 kilowatt. Chinese diesel heater. I'll start it up. I'm using manual control, so I'll manually control the uh, the fuel burn. Short push to start. It'll come on. Now it'll do its thing. It'll turn the fan on. Then it'll turn the glow plug on. And um, when the glow plug's red hot, then it will start injecting diesel in it to start a light. But how I test these is I use a basic a basic um, heat formula. So, if you know the volume going through the machine, then you can do the cubic feet a minute by the temperature change in degrees Fahrenheit by a multiplier, and you'll get the BTU heat output. So, these little units here are roughly um, 69 millimeters, say so we'll call it uh, 69.6, 69.7. So we'll be generous here and we'll call it a uh, an output of uh, 70 millimeters. So in our formula, we'll make it here at 70 millimeters, and then um, which gives the volume here through that tube of 0 0.0038 cubic meters. So we can now put the anerometer on and find out what the speed goes through, and then we can do this. Um, basic heat formula. Now I must state here this is a a, uh, a workshop test not a uh, laboratory test. Anyway we'll uh, let this thing do its its thing. Um, as you can see the uh, glow plug has started to come on now and the fuel pump has started to uh, pulse. It'll take a few minutes to stabilize so we'll come back. Okay, we're stabilised at a, um, a pulse rate of 3 hertz, which is uh, 3 cycles per second. The, um, the glow plug's turned off. We're now drawing about 1.9 to 2 amps, which is the same as every other um, 5 kilowatt heater at that setting. So what we'll do now is we'll, um, we'll check the with the anerometer what the, the flow through is. Okay, about 9.3. Here we've got the ambient temperature. This here, the temperature, I have the probe put over here onto the hot end of the heater. Cold air coming in here, hot air out here, so up on this end we're running uh, 41, 42 degrees. The big thing that we need to know is the, the difference in temperature between what's going in here, 23, 24, and what's coming out this end. Now, we're getting at around 85. This is measured 500 millimetres out from the end. So we're looking at about 60, 61 degrees increase in temperature as the air comes through. Now what I do is I put all these into a um, into this basic formula in, in a um, the bench test. So I have all the I have the pulse rates. Um, you know I have the decibels, the the case temperature, and so for each heater, you know I keep a um, 
a rundown of all the different um, types and sizes and what have you and I can work out basically you know well a whole heap of things I guess from all these figures okay so far it's pretty much exactly the same as uh, the 5 kilowatt heater both in the amp drawer um, the flow through rate and just about everything else but uh, anyway we'll continue on and I'll go up now we'll go up to a uh, full power I'll run it up to 5.5 Hertz which is a the maximum setting on on this controller now that'll take a while to stabilize and uh, we'll come back okay we're now running at full power at uh, 5.5 Hertz which is full power for this uh, controller We're running from uh, about 24.5 up to 100 and 203 already. We're starting to get to very close to overheat temperature and shutdown. Now remember that is measured out here 500 millimeters. So probably in here we're probably running 107, 108 thereabouts, maybe even a bit more. It won't take much more before if we get up to say 115 this unit will overheat and it will shut it down so I, I don't think we can run very long at this power anyway we'll have a look at the um, probably running about 12.5 12.6 um, meters per second in throughput and uh, look I'll just shut this down a little bit I'll, I'll run this down but it'll, it'll overheat on me so what I've done is I've put all the figures in now actually this test I've done here is the um, the fifth test I've done on these particular on this particular heater I've fully done out on on uh, four test and I've come to an average and I've put in the average cubic feet a minute the average um, temperature change by the multiplier and it comes out about 18,000 BTU so by this basic heat formula this heater puts out about 5.29 kilowatts at full power and it won't do that for long before it overheats if we wanted to go to um, another little formula the diesel energy formula so one liter of diesel puts out about roughly um, 11 kilowatts now this depends on what refinery the diesel comes out of what country it comes out of but it's approximately 11 kilowatts if you've got biodiesel in it it's a little bit less so on full power we're putting out about 400 milliliters um, of diesel burn on this on this um, 8 kilowatt or so-called 8 kilowatt heater and if you do it this way instead of the um, 5.29 we actually have a theoretical output of about 4.4 kilowatts and that is probably closer to the mark these units here are almost a, an identical copy of the German Eberspacher D4 um, diesel heater. And the, the Germans market theirs as a 4 kilowatt heater. And they're very conservative, so what they'll do is they'll measure it. I've been measuring it here on the input side. They will measure on the output side. And they'll measure it at a, at a constant um, um, fuel burn and volume that can be run continuously. This one here, if you if you boost it up, you will get you will get actually the um, the five kilowatts out of it, and same as these these ones sold as the five kilowatts, you will get close to five kilowatts. But there's no way on this earth that this heater is eight kilowatts. Now, to me, that is pure and simple deceptive advertising. And there's quite a few of them being done now at, at um, 
selling them out as uh, eight kilowatts. As I said, this is the particular one I bought, but there's quite a few being sold now out at eight kilowatts. In Australia, if you go for a five kilowatt unit, you can buy one of these from around 150 to 200 dollars, thereabouts, depending on what sort of accessory you get, depending whether you get a, a manual controller or electronic controller. Now these people now are branding these. These are five kilowatt heaters. They're branding them as uh, eight kilowatts, and they're selling them out for about a 60% premium, over and above the the advertised five kilowatt units. As I said, pure and simple deceptive advertising. This here is a five kilowatt unit, not an eight kilowatt unit, and it's being sold as a 60-70% premium. Now. I don't believe the eBay sellers are at fault. I think they just buy it in and they sold it as an eight kilowatt and they just don't sell it as an eight kilowatt. And they perhaps even pay the premium for it being eight kilowatt. But the people at fault are the probably the wholesaler or the manufacturer trying to market these as eight kilowatt when they are a five kilowatt. All right, I'm just, um, must say it again that these are my opinions I must state it again <coughs> excuse me that this is a workshop test it's not a fully controlled laboratory test but I have no doubt if a laboratory test did one of these it would be 5 kilowatt not 8 kilowatt in fact it probably won't even make 5 kilowatt in a laboratory test it might you know be 4.5 kilowatts all right, that's my opinion. Um, if you're going to buy one of these, go in with it with your eyes open. And thanks for watching.